So, what did I get up to this week? Well, today's Tuesday. I'm going to throw this video together this afternoon. This was an eventful week because we have, Dana and I have, a commuter car that I, that I commonly drive to work. And that car was, for family reasons, was located down in Southern California, Huntington Beach. And so, early Sunday morning, call it 4 o'clock, I got up, got, got dressed. My daughter, Kira, grudgingly drove me to the airport. And I flew down to John Wayne, Orange County Airport, and where Dana met me in said Honda commuter car. And we proceeded to go from there to... I-5 North, 405 to I-5. Nothing too eventful. Traffic, it being Sunday morning, was pretty light. And we proceeded through LA traffic only to be caught north of the Grapevine in way more traffic. And I'm not sure exactly what happened there, but one of the places that we went was, well, I thought it was Napa. It turns out we stayed in Sonoma. There's a, uh, a place there I think it's a hotel called Blaine House or Blaine something. Anyway, very nice hotel. Maybe I'll post a picture of their website or something like that right here. Super nice people, great place to stay. If you've never been to the Napa, Sonoma area, it's kind of one of our favorite little getaway spots. It's, it's eight or 10 hours, depending on where you go down there from our house. So it's, it's a pretty doable drive, maybe not for a weekend, but a three or four day trip is no sweat. So then yesterday, that's why I'm so tired and behind on video making and editing, we loaded up in the car and we both traveled pretty light, although she'd been had the car down there for a couple months for work and family purposes. We loaded up and made our way back to I-5. And then one of the cool things is, obviously, if you've ever driven from, say, Orange County or L.A. area to Oregon through California, I-5 can get a bit boring. And so... One of the things we like to do, in because we both made the drive many, many times, is it's basically equidistant for us, given that I live on Mount Hood, to cut off in Weed, California. And yes, Weed is a town in Northern California up near the border. So we took uh, Highway 97 from Weed up through Klamath Falls and then into Bend, Redmond, Madras, Warm Springs and across Highway 26 to our house. And so it's a, it's a gorgeous drive. It's a little slower because it's two lane highway. So you have to kind of pass people and stuff like that. It's not like it's a four lane highway or anything. But for us, the, it's not really added time for us because if we took I-5 to 205 and then through Clackamas County, it would add time to our trip anyway. So it's kind of a cost neutral type of deal. We did make that drive. There was some beautiful scenery. I shot a few different pictures, that sort of thing on the way up. It was a lot of fun. We, we enjoyed hanging out together. And since she's out of town most of the time, that doesn't happen. And so, like I said, I thought I would shoot this quick explanation and hopefully that I can get this edited together with some images. I took some, I just took my cell phone. I just had my iPhone. So I just shot a few random images and that sort of thing. So I'm hoping to overlay them on this video so you get, a, get an idea. If you'd stuck around this long, I appreciate it. I appreciate anybody who subscribes. However, today was, or today, it's like seven o'clock in the morning. It's 40 degrees at my house right now. That's why I'm wearing a jacket. Yep, I, I take that back. It's almost 8 a.m. at my house. Pretty soon I have some stuff that I would normally do earlier in the weekend. Have to mow the lawn. I have to, I'll throw a picture in. My bird's nest hasn't worked out well. It's right up over here, and I'm hoping they don't poop on me. But I got home this morning, came out to the shop to film this, and there's a bird mess all over the hood of my, my Bronco. So if you stuck around this long, I hope that you're well. I appreciate you watching, and we'll come back next week with a different deal.